have been looking forward to this! Hello everyone, this is Quiversy, and welcome to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! I have, <laughs> I'm just gonna say right now, I have been wanting to do an LP of this game for a long time. But the game was just downright cursed for me. For a while, the problem was I couldn't find my doggone disc. Uh, like, so, let, let me start like this. I wanted to do this probably maybe a year or so after I did my original Paper Mario Let's Play, right? I couldn't find my disc at first. Took me a few months to find that. Once I found it, found out that my Wii was having trouble reading discs, so okay, can't do that. But I couldn't try my GameCube because I didn't have the correct cables to connect it to my TV. I got some new cables, plugged it all in, put it in, guess what? GameCube didn't work. At that point, I was a little disheartened, so I waited for a while and decided, you know what, maybe I'll just try emulating it. Why not? I tried multiple emulators and multiple ROM files. I could never get it to work. So I was just like, okay, fine. I'm gonna have to wait until I can just afford to get a new GameCube or fix my GameCube or whatever and just find a way to get it to work or something like that. And then this gem got announced as a remake for the Switch. Needless to say, I am very happy. Not just because I get to play it, mind you, for you know for the channel, but also because this game doggone deserves it. It is a beloved classic for a reason. And interestingly enough, this version also has some uh, changes to it from the original version, at least the original American version. If you've heard anything about this game online recently, you know that this has had some localization changes, and I'm interested in uh, experiencing them because that means that it'll be a bit a slightly new experience for me too. All right, enough preamble. Let's get started from the beginning. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. worth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very uh, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Do you buy something? I have a wide assortment of cats and doodads. But this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. 
button, but the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as buds if one such as me touches it. Oh! If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on! Hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Madam, you literally heard that this box needs a, a pure noble heart to open it by someone who says that they are not pure enough to open it. I wouldn't trust anything that that person said at that point. Mail call! Ah, the good old male paratrooper service. Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you! I'll just read it for you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map! A treasure map, actually! It was inside a box that I got from a little merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go to find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I can clear the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. A little demanding. What do you know? It's true. There's a weather little the map in here with the letter. Check it out. Yep, that's a map, all right. Not a very good map, if I'm being honest. <laughs> no sense of scale. But it is a map. And with that map, Mario sets out on a journey to the city of Rogueport. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year War. I swear, if you told me a year ago that this game was going to happen, I don't know that I would have believed you. Prologue! A rogue's welcome! I love how the spinning gold coin... Like, if you look at it as it rotates, it, it has that little line on it every other time. It makes me think, like, like I, I know it's like a papercraft thing, but it makes me think of, like, those rolls of ribbon that you use to, like, tie presents and stuff up. That, that's, that's adorable. I love that. And that's what I'm going to view this as from now on, even if that's not necessarily what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Who is talking? <laughs> Please, wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to the view. Look! That's Rogueport! I guess it's the captain of Mario's ship. Yep, that's Rogueport, all right. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I, I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? I don't think Mario cares. What's that? I'm sorry? You said there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. And away they go, leaving Mario at Rogueport. And we are in full command off the bat. Got our little jump, which 
feels lower than I thought it would be. I don't know. It feels like he's not jumping as high as he should. Maybe it's because he's going so fast and just stopping. I'm sure it's, uh, it was like that in the original. It's been a long time since I played the original game. And of course, we have a hammer too. Yeah, just start with it. This here is our way to save the game. Save block. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. If you get a game over, or if you start playing again from the title screen, you can continue from the last point you saved. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Yeah! Game save. And we got people we can talk to, such as this Bob-Bob. Oi, welcome to Roundport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know where you're going to kick the old bucket. Ah, charming. Little pirate bob -omb. I love his little bandana. I love all their little bandanas. In fact... Oh, I wanted to talk to the purple one. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. Well, I've seen you walk around town asking for information about crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So, be a good little student and tell me, tell us what you know. Right now! Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps! Ugh! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this higher brand to our fortress! As you command, Lord Crab, we're on it! No! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? I, I gotta stop for a moment to, to say two things. One, I have no idea why I was giving Lord Crump like a Australian British accent there, there. I have no idea. But number two, more importantly, look at the freaking sprite work here on Goombella. Like the 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 visuals in the in, in the original game were stellar for the time, and they still hold up well, obviously. But I don't know, there's just some extra... You know, I, oddly enough, you know what I think it is that's that's really setting it for me here is the fact that there's more moving parts to, to her. Like, just kind of break it down here. You know, she's kind of bobbing up and down a bit with one foot not really moving. I'm pretty sure that's always been the case, but like even her hair and her eyebrows are moving at different intervals to the rest of it. I know that is a tiny, minute detail, but there's something about the way that it's all coming together that just makes it look much more alive. And I really like it. Anyways, uh, now I get to talk to the purple bob -omb. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your other loving bones. Well, excuse me. You believe this guy? Don't like me. Fight. Talking. <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Oh, man, he's getting into it. Look at his face. <laughs> what about you? Yikes. Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Well, considering you're green, I have a feeling you don't just have an extra life. You are an extra life. Watch out, Mario might eat you. Oh, hold up. Wait for it. No. Oh, of course it's not gonna do it now. It was, it, was, it was showing us our hut, there it is. Okay, so let's see here. Got 10 hit points, five flower points, 100 coins, no star points. And we got our D-pad. Let me actually take a look at this. Ooh, art gallery and sound gallery. This is new. Collect all the star pieces in and under Rogue Port to... Oh! So star pieces have a new use in this. So yeah, in, in the original uh, Thousand Yard Door, star pieces were in it just like in the original Paper Mario, and they had the same purpose. Uh, that is purchasing badges, which is something we'll get into later. But it looks like there's a new... Oh, and shine... Okay, so there's like... That's... That is cool. And honestly, I like this for a totally separate reason. Number one, I mean, just, just giving another unlock is cool. But I can also use this to keep track of when there's more of a thing to find in a certain place. 
That is awesome as a side benefit. And here's our map. Oh, and even has a percentage here too. I'm loving these quality of life changes right off the bat. I'ma just say it. Also, we have a little description here. An unseemly place full of rogues and criminals. The harbor is in the south. A thieves hideout lies to the east. The western area is home to the Pianta Syndicates HQ and Rogueport Station is to the north. Trains and blimps connect to other towns. Ah, yes. With a name like Rogueport, you have to expect it to be a, a, den, of, a den of skullduggery, shall we say. Lovely. And of course we have our gear, which has items, which we can hold up to 15. Okay, that's more than in the original. In the original, the limit was 10, pretty sure. Useful items, just key items, and blank, which is going to be the aforementioned badges, I'm pretty sure. And speaking of, we have three badge points here. Points required to wear badges, FP is points to perform moves, and HP is, of course, the hit points. They drop to, as he takes damage, and he dies if he reaches zero. Rising star. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. The higher your star rank, the bigger your crowd will be. We'll get into that in a minute, because that, 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 that is one of my favorite mechanics about this game. Star points, of course, is our experience. You get 100 to level up. Coins, money, self-explanatory. Star pieces, which I've already kind of explained, and shine sprites. They can boost a partner's rank. Again, something that'll come up not too long in the future. Oh, I like a strong rumble. That's honestly not that strong. I'm gonna keep it. And that's it as far as settings goes. Okay, enough screwing around in menus. We got ourselves a fight right over here. I can go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Huh, not likely. What? <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Tom? You think you can screw up my plans? <laughs> it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bowl. Yep. Mario has to come in to save this poor innocent Goomba. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. So yeah, this is our battlefield. And I love it because like it was kind of, in, 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 paper, in paper Mario for the N64, it was kind of like a bit of a, a, a stage-like aesthetic, but here, no. Thousand Year Door just cranks it up and says, yeah, you're literally fighting on a doggone stage. And they do not hold back on it. So, we have our options here of jump, hammer, item, and tactics. Items, we obviously don't have any, so we can't do anything. Tactics, we have the power to defend, which will increase our defense for a turn, or to retreat, which as we have found out, we cannot do this turn. So we're gonna start with a jump. Normal jump, press A at the exact moment to stop on the enemy. Yes, we have ourselves uh, action commands. So, again, pretty standard fare. Let us jump on Lord Crumb. Despite those horns, he is not spiky. Yeah. Hup, hup. Two damage. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. And I messed up on the other action command. Because there is another one. Anyways, hammer! If you hold the left stick to the left and release it when the star lights up. Cool. Nice! And you kind of see the bit of the background um, popped up a little bit there when you hammered. There's actually some mechanics to that, believe it or not. You've got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on him! There we go! Press A at the right time and you guard! And let's go ahead and hammer him again. And whoop, you saw that there. That was a stylish. So what I did there was as soon as the hammer landed, I pressed the A button and Mari did a little backflip. Again, there, that is a mechanic, but it is not relevant yet. I just wanted to see if I could do it. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw that. Mario just kind of bent bent forward towards the screen a little bit. That I guess he's like tilting his head like, the heck are you talking about? I want this a start point. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that makes me laugh so much, but it does. 
That's what these little things are. Star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh, no! He's got an army! Punish him! Quick! This way! Fun fact, by the way, I'm pretty sure that stuff like that was done on the GameCube specifically just as a way to show off some of its processing power at the time. Phew! A bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I mean, I could, but I want to beat him up. Yeah, we could actually kind of run partly back in, but we just get pushed out. These guys are absolute idiots. They do not know what they are supposed to be doing. So yeah, let's just get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stop. Did you see them? Anyone? Ah, oh, crud, they bolted. Yep. Bye, Lord Crump. Oh, wow, mister. You totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. My name's Gumbella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya! So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. I'm Mario! Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here! Cool! Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh. Me? I already hate it here! Down, there are bro. freaks and weirdos everywhere! It's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but okay? sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What do you got there? Oh my gosh, is that the map? You have to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? <laughs> Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario! <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another and sort of place them. <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? Hmm? Ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here at Rogueport. Intriguing. Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP, or a uh, hard points, running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? Princess who always gets snapped by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild! Princess Peach? Sent you that treasure map? 
Whoa! This is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, I know! Come, Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map! If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then! Let's go, Mario! And Goombella has officially joined our party, straight away! And welcome to the Pink Zone, home of learning how to do things with Goombella's abilities, a primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. Okay. If it happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. Right here. That's Goomba for the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. And that's it. <laughs> press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. Yep, if you're not next to someone, you just get an area. This is Roadport Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using our ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Goombel's abilities by now? Yes. Of course, Goombel can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Yeah. So, if you're familiar with Paper Mario 64, but not this, she is basically your Goombario. Although, in my opinion, 10 times better. <laughs> First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. How are you showing that to Mario? You don't have hands or anything to like hold up a, a picture. You don't seem to have anywhere you would hide a picture. How are you showing this to Mario? That's all I want to know. Oh, uh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. We were just taught about using X. If I use X, yeah, the report's main squared. Oh, wait, she says something different? Lots of regular folks working here, but also near to us. Oh, so she said something different, but it was kind of the same. Hang on, are you gonna say the exact same thing? No, you're, okay, interesting. Oh, hello. Well, I know what that is, but I can't do anything with it. But okay, so that was pressing X. What about pressing ZL? Let's look. Let's look. So, okay. I I choose to interpret that as basically like Merlon's ability from actually technically it's from both the original uh, 64 and the original Thousand Year Door, where you would pay money to go like, hey, what do, where go? But anywhere. Interesting. That, I did not expect that. Well, let's talk to some people around town. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. You find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. Okay, looking for someone with uh, who, who's uh, committing credit card fraud. Got it. What about you, Mr. The Mouse? Uh, <laughs> you smell that? That smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Okay, fine. What's the sign say? Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Yeah, while we were talking with Goombella, there was a little bit of a turf war going on in the background. And, of course, the backside. Yup, the graffiti corner. I knew it. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. I don't remember who Podley is. Well, there's a shop and the inn, of course, but there's also this little back alley. Let's take a look. Also, looks like there's some sort of Desperado Koopa who was wanted for, what is that, a million? Or is that nine million? I can't quite tell. Either way, that's a hefty bounty. See if we can... Keep an eye out for that Desperado Koopa. May make some money, huh? 
Hello there. Listen, there's a huge secret. But I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out. So I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you I'm lying low in this thieves' den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Oh, no. I don't think someone that sly would just confide in random strangers saying that he's a wanted man. Goombella, what do you think? That's McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the land from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, <laughs> kind of an agreement there. Speaking of, you have something new for this alley? Nope, the alley counts as the same area. That's what I thought, but I wasn't 100% sure since there was a bit of a black screen transition. And hello. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, but not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Who is this? That's a suspicious, that's a suspicious, that's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. You know, I've always wondered what these things actually were. Um, shoot, what was his name? In Mario, in Paper Mario 64, the, the badge dude, Ralph. The, Ralph the salesman was one of these. And, you know, they're, they're also just random citizens that we can talk to. I've never known what they were actually called. I guess they're called Dugans. And to my knowledge, they only appear in the Paper Mario franchise, and even then, only the first couple. And can we go in this back door? We certainly can. This place has seen better days. You're not gonna tell me about the filthy room with the cockroaches? Excuse me? I can, I, I, I can get money by pleading an exterminator. Mario, we have a new job. There was another one over here somewhere. Get it, get it, get it, yeah! I didn't know you could do this. I had no idea you could do that. That is cool. You can smash cockroaches and get money. It's great, I love it. All right, let's take a look at the store. Maybe we can get some items for our journey. Contact lenses, sold out. I wonder why we need to buy, oh. I just now noticed the little extra bit on the HUD there. So we're told straight away how many items we have out of how many we can carry and points, which is something we'll find out in a moment here. So first of all, we have mushrooms, a feel-good mushroom that replenishes five HP. Honey syrup, a sweet snack that restores five FP. Tasty tonic, which cures poison and other ailments. A fire flower, which attacks enemies with fireballs to do three damage and burns them. And a sleepy sheepy, temporarily puts all enemies to sleep, immobilizing them. I wish to make some purchases. First, hey there, fellow, welcome. This is your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? Save up enough shop points so you can win some prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? You mean to explain it again? No. Now with that said, I want to need five coins for that mushroom. You want to buy it, fella? Yes, I do. Yeah, got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP or heart points. Press plus to open the menu and choose the items from the gear screen to see your items. Yep. Actually, before I buy anything else, I think this back here is the list he was talking about. Ah, here we go. So here's our prizes. If we get 10 points, we get a free mushroom. 20, we get a free ice storm, which is another damage item. 30 points, we get a super mushroom, self-explanatory. 50 points, we get a Thunder Rage, and 70 points, we get a Shooting Star, two more damage items. 100 points, we get a Gold Bar, which I'm pretty sure is literally just money. 150 points for a Life Mushroom. Those are the best. 200 points for an Ultra Mushroom. 250 for a Jam and Jelly. 300 points for three Gold Bars. So, because of the way that this works, where every, point, every purchase equals one point, you have to get 300 purchases to get that last item slot. Or, well, it's not an item slot, but you, you know what I mean. The last item to drop. Sorry, I can't help but just now realize I just, in the background, look at those little cat drawings. I choose to believe that those drawings were made by the shopkeeper's kids and they hang them up and out of out of love for their child. 
because that that just seems like something that would happen. Anyway, I'm gonna buy a couple mushrooms. I'm gonna buy a honey syrup, and I'm gonna buy one fire flower. I think that's enough shopping. I don't want to use all my money, and I want to keep some item slots open just in case we find anything out in the wild. And let's explore the inn as well while we're here. Oi! I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Okay, so you're calmed down a bit now. What do you have to say, say about this game? No, I don't want to hear about the square again. I want to hear about the ba bomb. That guy's a bob bomb sailor. I think he comes here every time his shit makes port. I don't blame him. This place has a totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. Take a hint, pal. Mean scram, don't talk to me. Fine then. What about you, sir? Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Polly's place. I'm a little cold sh cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. Weary, go on up and relax. That's the innkeeper Podley. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. I wouldn't mind having a cold Chocola Cola sometime and listening to him talk. He opened this in a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. Ah, Chocola Cola. I love that. Love that reference. Also, that same drawing of a child's cat is in here, too, so now I'm starting to wonder. Okay, you've been singing all over here this place. What do you have to say? This is the skull stone, and a lucky charm of my family. Oh, I love you, you sparkly thing. It is so fabulous, I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight, never! The skull captain cast uh, his yeah. Ah, what are you doing sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, uh, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Rogueport! The Skull Captain uh, is yeah. the That's the entrepreneur Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing in here so early in the day though? I think he's doing okay? Yeah, you just enjoy singing to your skull, buddy. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go lay now. Bye. This place looks like it's, uh, seen better days. <laughs> Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Get a rest, it's five coins. So as Toadsworth said, we can sleep in inns to fully recover ourselves. But it ain't free. And we're mostly full, so I'm not gonna bother. One hit point is not worth five points. <laughs> oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? It is quite troubling indeed. Hey, Gamella, do you know anything about Toadsworth? That's Toadsworth, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Princess Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. There is no mellowing him out. Trust me. And there's even a little door here with a little bonus thing. But it's locked. Sorry, we're closed. We'll reopen at 11 a.m. today. Hey, yay then? Nothing we can really do with that, unfortunately. But we can jump off this roof. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear! You know what? She looks pretty mad. I think I'm gonna listen to her. And I got a feeling she's gonna be a while, so I'm gonna just stop it here. And next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, hopefully this lady will have found her contact lens by then. And we'll be able to go on our merry way and look for Professor Frankly. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.